folks, we're going to be working on a four and a half horse Nelson Brothers engine. This is a hit and miss governed engine, and it's actually a contract engine. And what makes this one pretty rare is that the fact that it has Detroit Engine Works embossed uh, cast into the hopper. So long story short, Nelson Brothers built a lot of engines for other companies and uh, those companies would rebadge them, basically contract engines. My other Nelson Brothers is also, uh, it is a badged Montgomery Ward. So that was really common back in the day for that to happen. And Detroit Engine Works built, I believe, a lot of two-cycle engines. So today we're going to rip into the igniter and figure out what the issue is. It, you know, the engine hasn't been running that good. It's been running inconsistent. It loads up really easy. So I've never had the igniter off. We'll get in there and see what we can find. All right, so we're going to be taking this igniter off. And on this igniter also has a mag. So this is a mag fired engine. Just kind of show you how it works here. Here's the push rod that trips the mag for the igniter. So we'll get this tore off. Like I said, this engine has not been running very good. Uh, and two reasons I think that possibly our igniter is carboned up and maybe I'm running it too slow and our intake valve is it's kind of stiff and if they're too stiff when they're running really slow uh they don't like to run well so let's start with getting this off she's a grody old girl Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. She is a little carboned up in there. This is all carbon right here. Run a little rich. If you can see that combustion chamber is probably, let's see if you get a good view in there. That combustion chamber is probably a good two, two inches, three inches. But this old gasket, boy, she's rough, but probably an old asbestos gasket. Yum. We'll run it. Now if you guys see right here, here's your points for your igniter. And one of these days I'll make a different video on uh, how I guess the igniter works. I'm not an expert on it. I know there's a lot more people that are, have a lot more knowledge than I do. But basically, when these points, so you get to get that in there pretty good, come apart like this, it creates an arc for spark. And well, it's just like a spark plug basically. Uh, once they come apart and there goes your combustion. So basically what we need to do, you can't see it in there very well, but inside there, we're going to clean these points up. A lot of fuel on them, a lot of yuckiness. We'll get that cleaned up and uh, put it back on and see if it runs any better. Just going to take a little brake cleaner here. Just a little bit. Anybody says this will hurt it, well... I think they're wrong. Done it many times. Be just fine. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the sandpaper and we're just gonna just barely touch them points, just enough to get it clean. Just enough. We don't want to go too much. Now there's actually a tool that goes on here that you can actually trip the igniter to test it. And I'll see if I can do it with a screwdriver. I'm not very good at it. But basically, you're just gonna take your screwdriver here like this. And take your screwdriver, and you're just gonna trip the mag like this. I'll get a close-up on this igniter here in a second. All 
All right, now well, we kind of got this cleaned out, I guess. We're gonna throw this back on. And no, I'm not gonna put a new gasket. This one works perfectly fine. The asbestos and all. All right. That's that. Now, before we do anything, we're gonna fire this thing up. Let's see how it runs. Let's see if that fixed it. I am suspect, however, that possibly this seal around this carburetor is possibly letting too much air in and what happens is this thing starts to flood out you'll get a bunch of fuel in here and it'll just kind of load up and it'll just load the engine up and then die so we're gonna start it see what happens this is old eagle oiler really nice oilers there's supposed to be some cotton and stuff that sits in these bearings but we'll just Run it this way for now. I have not run this engine very much since I've gotten it. And you can never oil these too much. I don't care what anybody says. Yes, it will make an absolute mess. But it ain't gonna hurt. get these valves oiled up now right here in the cam there's a little hole one thing with these Nelson brothers I've noticed they make these cam gears way too thin both of my Nelson brothers are thin right there we'll give this just one little turn this is grease in here And then the other thing I like to do, we're gonna get in here and oil that wrist pin a little bit. On both sides. Can just put a little oil right here on the top. Put her drip oiler there. She's pretty much ready to start. We gotta throw some fuel in it, but. All right, let's give her three flicks. One, well, make sure she's in all the way. One, two, three. Every one of my Nelson brothers is that way. Give her a little snort. Let's see what she does. When they're running this slow, they like to be choked.
video as time went on it would speed off i only got one spring on here on this governor weight and i think that has something to do with it as the engine warms up it starts to fire more and i really need to get in here and get this crud cleaned out of here um try to get some things tightened up a little bit and i think it'll run a lot smoother but i'm happy with that um i think she has been run a little rich i need to mess with the fuel system some more and uh I want to show you guys a couple pretty unique things about this engine. Obviously, like I said in the video, Detroit Engine Works, this is actually Nelson Brothers. So this is probably 1916, 1919 Nelson Brothers built for Detroit Engine Works. Detroit Engine Works built a lot of uh, two-stroke engines, and this was a contract engine. Uh, my, uh, Nelson Brothers built a bunch of contract engines matter of fact my other engine is a montgomery ward built by nelson brothers uh some farmer fixes on this thing look at these bolts they're, i mean they're just rounded off but and it's got a square bolt here and here's some brazing probably where it froze at one time and these homemade gaskets this looks like a rubber it looks like some kind of old asbestos Definitely not factory. But another thing I appreciate about this beautiful thing, another thing I appreciate a lot is look at the original pinstriping on this thing. You know, they hand painted these and they, a guy came in and did the pinstriping. And another cool feature with this engine is it's got the original skid, it's painted green, and I'm slowly cleaning this thing up. Um, and I think it'll come up quite nice. Show you some more pinstriping over here. Look at these flywheels, just gorgeous. But I bought this from a buddy and he gave me a really good deal on it, and I really appreciate it. That's one cool thing about the engine community no one's really out to get anybody. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll make some more videos. I'm gonna get all the engines fired up today, I'll have some videos of them all running. And I want to make a video on, uh, I guess, how a hit and miss engine works. If I can get my camera to cooperate, we'll, we'll do some slow motion videos on how the governor systems work on kind of each one of these engines and give you a good perspective on how it actually works. Um, so once again, appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you on the next one.